If your dream doesn't scare you, it is not big enough. Can anybody guess just by looking at them which one will perform better? It is exactly the same thing Martin Luther King was trying to say. I am so proud to be in this land of the free and the home of the brave. Hi, I'm Ashintya. Every day, my mom tells me bedtime stories before I go to sleep. She tells me stories of who's courageous, who's brave, and so on. I close my eyes and imagine myself as the hero of the story. It feels so good. In the middle of such good stories, my heart fills with joy and I sleep so peacefully. Today, I'm going to tell you a bedtime story. You are planning to sleep after my story. The only thing you have to do is imagine yourself as the hero of the story. One day, you were born in a beautiful town. Your parents loved you so much. They spent time with you and played with you. One day, you wanted to play with other kids on the street. When you went and asked them if you could play with them, they pushed you away and said, You cannot play with us because you are different. One day, all the kids were boarding the bus to go to school. When you went to the bus, the bus driver and the kids pushed you away and said, You have to walk to school. You cannot board the bus because you are different. Slowly, you grew up with many situations like this. You went to work and suddenly you felt thirsty. And when you approached a nearby water tap, you were pushed away and said, You cannot use this water tap. You have to use a water tap outside this building because you are different. The story is completed. The end. Now that I have completed the story, I am asking you to sleep. How many of you can sleep peacefully and happily? Nobody, right? This is not because I am a bad storyteller. It is because nobody wants to be the hero of a sad story. Everybody wants to be a hero of a beautiful story where all good things happen to them. Nobody wants to be the hero of the story that I have told you, right? So, what would you do? Would you try to change the story? Where all your friends played with you, went on the same bus, and all your friends at work treated you well? Then you can sleep well, otherwise you cannot. There was one person who was born on January 15th, 1929. He dreamt to change the similar sad stories that were really truly happening around him. He is none other than Martin Luther King Jr. We celebrate the birthday of a civil rights leader on the third Monday of January each year according to the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. On this day, we celebrate by closing schools and offices. But it is important to remember Martin Luther King Day is about more than just having a day off. I'm not going to talk about the facts of Martin Luther King. We can find them in libraries. I'm going to talk about the spirit of Martin Luther King. When me and my brother were playing with these cars, I just got an idea how to explain the spirit of Martin Luther King. As you can see, I'm holding two cars in my hand. They both are from the same company, same engine and tires. 
Can anybody guess just by looking at them which one will perform better? Can anybody guess? Yes, exactly. We can not just say by looking at them which one performs better than the other. Since they both are made the same, color is the only difference on them. Color will not tell you anything of their capacity. It is exactly the same thing Martin Luther King was trying to say. When all of us are made of the same flesh and blood and in the same body parts, how can you say somebody is superior to others just by looking at their color? Color is just an outside appearance. As I showed for the cars, it has nothing to do with their performance. Liking the color is just a perception. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Some people like yellow, some people like black, some people like white. Liking the color is all opinion and perception. But remember, color cannot decide the superiority. Martin Luther King said, he had a dream where everybody would be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. Even though he lived only for 39 years, his dream is so honest, intense and genuine that the spirit of his dream is still living. People electing Mr. Barack Hussein Obama as their president is the best example that King's dream has really come true. Where were the days of racial segregation and where are we now? We have, we have evolved so much since then. I am so proud to be in this land of the free and the home of the brave. Abdul Kalam, a great scientist and former president of India, said dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result into actions. It was one person's dream, Martin Luther King's dream, and it turned into actions of many people to fight for equality. So, dreams have so much power. We all have dreams, but here's the thing, dream big. If your dream doesn't scare you, it is not big enough. I would like to end with another quote from Abdul Kalam. A dream is not that which you see while sleeping. It is something that does not let you sleep. Hope you guys liked that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell.